Hi friends, uh, today I have another food preservation day for you. So stick around and I hope you enjoy. Okay, uh, today I'm going to be re um, preserving a whole bunch of tomatoes again. Now, I'm not sure what I'm making this into yet. Um, between tomato sauce and salsa. But the majority of the ingredients are going to be the same. I'm kind of leaning toward sauce because that last batch of sauce that I made was is spicy. So I think I want to make another batch of sauce that is non-spicy so what I can do is is mix the two together um, if it's just my husband and I I would definitely just use the the spicy um, sauce but I think it might be a little bit too spicy for my son so and then I also gift um, tomato sauce to my neighbors um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do um, tomato sauce. I am going to be putting some peppers in it, um, hot peppers, but nothing nearly like my last batch. There will be no habaneros in here. Um, there might be some, or there's going to be some banana peppers because I have some banana pepper relish here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then plus I have some um, peppers here. Some could be spicy. Like there are two small cherry bomb peppers in there. So those are spicy. But the other two that I see are sweet peppers. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in as well. Um, my ratio for this one, I have way more tomatoes than I did last time and I'm using less peppers than I did last time. So this is pretty much going to be a, you know, a regular sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And this first batch, this first bag that I have here, these are all frozen tomatoes. I'm just going to dump them right in. Um, because... All of this is going to be um, blended up. You know, I'll use the immersion blender uh, to get all the chunks out. I'm not going to worry about, oh, there's a top on that one that I missed. I'm not necessarily worrying about um, cutting off the ends here other than stems, we certainly don't want stems um, because it's all gonna be blended up. Okay, can't get that stem, so I will just pull that one out. That needs a spot cut off of it. So does that one. Okay, so I have those frozen tomatoes in. I've got a whole bunch more tomatoes that I need to put in. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put this put this sauce in. Now this was a sauce that oh, that I made with the last batch that did not seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there so it will just be reprocessed with the other tomatoes. Oh, I should have had my son and husband just left for a baseball game. I'm gonna be leaving shortly. Should have had them open up all of these containers. Okay. 
Okay, those need the tops trimmed off of them. So I'll wait on those and then I'll get the other tomatoes dumped in here. And I just rinsed out um, this sauce jar and that uh, the pepper relish that I put in there. Okay, got another bag of tomatoes. gonna let these cook down a little bit and then I'm going to add some more tomatoes.
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use my immersion blender um, and blend up the tomatoes. Uh, most of the tomatoes have broken down, um, just left their skins, so I wanna make sure that I get those skins really emulsified. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and let this uh, continue to cook down till it's the consistency um, that I'm looking for, for um, marinara sauce. Once it gets to that thickness, then I'll go ahead and add in the spices and we'll give it a taste test. And I will leave my uh, lid on halfway so it can really um, reduce down and thicken up. Okay, time to can up our sauce. Look how beautiful, nice and thick it is. And I'm doing both quarts and pints both. I have a big pot heating up on the stove and once we get all of these jars filled up, we're going to stick them in the canner for 35 minutes. And if you were just doing pints, you would do 30 minutes, but since we are doing quarts, we're doing 35 minutes. And I put some citric acid in the bottom of these jars, just like I did last time, just to make sure that the acidity is at the right level. Okay, here is round three of our marinara sauce. And now we are going to get on to our next project where we are going to be preserving some garlic. I have uh, some chili oil that was left over from the marinated hot peppers that I used the other day. And I have a partial jar of garlic cloves in chili oil. So I am going to add more garlic and more chili oil to this. And then we are also going to do some uh, pickled onions and garlic. Okay, here we already have some um, garlic cloves in chili oil. So I wanna go ahead and uh, dump this into this bowl because I'm going to be mixing more chili oil and more garlic. And this is the leftover chili oil from my canned marinated hot peppers. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add some more uh, garlic into that oil. Uh, garlic in olive oil and 
pickled garlic are two good ways to preserve garlic. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put this garlic into this jar. dump some of the chili oil in it. And there is a nice chili garlic. And this you would just use like you would use any other garlic and it will just, it just has some infused chili oil into it. And this you can just keep in the refrigerator. I have a little bit more left. So I am going to add to this jar. Okay, now I'm just going to grab some olive oil. To get this jar filled up.
Then there's two garlic and chili oils. And I'll just keep these in the refrigerator and they will last a very, very long time. So anytime you need some fresh garlic, grab this, adds a little extra flavor. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is I'm gonna start the brine uh, in order to make some pickled red onions and garlic. So I'm gonna add some water to this pan. And the brine that I'm doing is a 50-50 blend of water and uh, vinegar. So I have probably mm, two cups of, um, maybe not even two cups of water, um, maybe about a cup and a half of water and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add vinegar. Okay. And we're gonna add just a pinch of salt. Add some pepper. And a little bit of sweetener of your choice. And I'm gonna get this up to a boil. And I am going to cut a couple of my habaneros to also put in there. And the habaneros are just going to add a little heat to the, um, the pickled garlic and onions. And I'm slicing these very thin. In fact, I think I'm gonna chop them up Excuse me. Chop them up into itty bitty pieces. These habaneros are hot. But I have so many, even though we only did one plant, there are so many of them. It is a very prolific plant. So I am trying to get them used up. and not wasted. Okay, and we'll get that into the brine. Normally I would put red pepper flakes, but since I have all these habaneros, I'm going to get those used up. So I'm going to, oh, whew, I'm going to go ahead and get those up to a boil. 
that brine up to a boil while I go ahead and slice up some onions. the problem with having the rapid boil function things come to a boil in less than a minute so I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these onions sliced as thin as I possibly can garlic chopped up. All right. We'll go ahead and do this one first. Now, once you add the brine to this, it is going to um, shrink it up a little bit. So don't be afraid to really put a lot in there and stuff it. Okay, so we're... Very potent brine is boiling.
Yes, so that sniffle lady is um, crying from these onions and habaneros. Okay, so here I've made two pickled onions and garlic. Yes, this is full, but like as I said, everything is going to shrink down a little bit, so I will be able to squish it and put a lid on it, and then it will stay in the refrigerator for a very long time. Now I have some more brine left, so I am going to put the rest of this garlic in here and as much of this uh, Rhyme and garlic cloves that I can get in there. have some spicy pickled garlic. So that's another way that you can preserve garlic at the uh, whenever you harvest it from your garden. Uh, this year I ha did not plant garlic, but I do love to have plenty of pickled garlic and chili oil garlic you could even just use plain olive oil and garlic you can spice it up however you like um, and it will last for a very long time in your refrigerator okay so that's it for today's food preservation but stay tuned i have another day coming up um with another abundance of tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and do two dozen pints of salsa. So hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss my next food preservation day.